So, uh, you know, I'm Tucker Carlson in the United States for my American uh, viewers and those of you outside the United States, you've probably seen clips of this. Tucker Carlson, uh, who is a broadcaster on Fox News, and he's actually the only broadcaster on any of the legacy media who is trying to tell the truth about the things that are going on around the world. Well, he was deeply troubled by the fact that this um, there's this group of, of um, African Israelites, I think they are. It, it's this crazy ass group of guys who are African-American who believe all kinds of nonsense. I mean, they're just like really out to lunch. And a lot of the things that they believe in are kind of outrageous and or despicable, you know, but the Biden administration is persecuting them because of free speech, because of shit that they have said. Mm -hmm. and, and like little posters that they put up here and there that mean nothing. I mean, they're just a little radical, crazy ass outfit that has zero political impact, although they are fairly noticeable. But, you know, they're more like an amusement, really, than anything else. I mean, you can't take them seriously. But the Biden administration is persecuting these people because of their speech. They haven't done anything. They haven't, like, burned down a building like Black Lives Matter did back in 2020. Oh, no. These guys, they just give their little speeches and their little bullshit and their little pamphlets, and that's it. And the Biden administration is persecuting them using the federal government to shut them down. Now, Tucker Carlson has been talking about this quite a bit, and, and with good reason, because this is the epitome of freedom of speech to say something stupid and outrageous that most everybody disagrees with but okay fine you do you kind of thing right since we came on youtube it's all about the elect i know you from somewhere right you're a, a news uh cancer yeah, yeah he's from, he's from the news what is it you know about us are you Jew are you a jewish are you jewish what are you italian christian oh, are you really what does the word christian mean Okay, good, good. He says someone who follows Christ. You're talking about the Christ in the Bible? I think so, yeah. Okay, what color is that Christ? No idea. No idea. So you don't read the Bible? Yeah, I've, I've read the whole thing, actually. You read the whole Bible? Yes, I did. So then you would know the color of Christ. I don't remember that being mentioned. I may have missed it. Give me that. Give me that. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. All blessings, honor, glory, and power be unto the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, whose name is Yahweh, Shai. And double honors to the apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth. And salutations to the elect scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth. My name is Amon Gabar, and I'm back with another lesson, Lord willing, it's quick, edifying, straight, and to the point. And the famine of the word is going to come to pass. All right. The famine of hearing the word is going to happen. We've been telling the people from the apostles on down that the famine of the word is going to come. All right. The famine of the word has got to happen according to the scriptures. So, Lobo, this is going to be quick. And um, this video that I, I got this clip from, I'm subscribed to this dude, Gonzalo Lira, but I didn't watch his video. Until the brother Yeshaya LA2 had did a video on it. So I watched out his whole video, which is 17 minutes, 43 seconds. And he included this guy right here, Gonzalo Lira, which is, as you see at the bottom of the screen, where his right shoulder is, his right hand is, it says, novelist, filmmaker, and economic analyst, analyst, analyst excuse me. So he's, he writes, you know, he um, a journalist, filmmaker, he, he analyzed the economy and reported on it, so on and so forth. So he, as you heard, he was speaking on behalf of Tucker Carlson, which another thing, Tucker Carlson, let me go to my YouTube, Tucker Carlson, I just put up this video right here on, on the Amon Gabar page. This is Tucker Carlson right here in this video. Um, I re-uploaded it this morning from another page I can't remember off the top where I got it from but this was in New York Tucker Carson walks up to the camp to the main camp and then Apostle Todd notices him and said you look like you, do I know you you look like one of them um oh I think he said you one of the news news anchors or something you could go watch the video I'll link it in the description box so anyway with it with me yeah right there so Tucker Carson pulls up I th this got to be like around This probably like almost 10 years ago It's probably like almost 10 years ago Maybe Probably like 2013, 14 or Something like that man I can't even remember 
you know but this is tucker carlson you know let me go to let me go to his um go to the internet real quick tucker carlson right there as you see so he pulls up to the camp and the apostle tall was, was dialecting with him talking with him and bringing out the scriptures and for the most part he pretty much was listening you know he, I, he didn't really have no crazy rebuttal or nothing like that you know he moved up came up slick and all that like he was because the apostle asked are you a you know, he denied that he was a news anchor. You know, so he came up slick. Came up slick. So, there you go right there. But anyway, he left um, He left Fox, right? He left Fox. And as you heard this dude said, you know, Tucker Carlson, which is true, he would always, he will, he will push the image of free speech, so to speak, right? And one thing we do understand is that you do have something called controlled opposition. So it's an illusion of being opposed to something, but you're really being controlled to portray that type of, you know, opposition. You know, because, you know, he he had a whole platform on Fox News up until he left. You know, a whole platform. You know, a lot of people will come up. He would make them look stupid. You know, a lot of, you know, li liberate um liberals and all that will come up he would make them look stupid you see he would make them look stupid so all the free speech and the left wing and this and that and, that and this he would pretty much use his platform as free speech and you know he's pro donald trump of course you know what i'm saying so anyway i just got hip to what this guy is saying you know and it makes sense it makes sense in a way because he did roll up to the camp all right, he did come up to the camp. The apostles was dialecting with him, you know. So it could be a controlled opposition, or he could have sincerely, genu genuinely, really left. Who knows? But nonetheless, you know, these devils want to ban free speech. All right, they want to ban free speech. The Biden administration, whether it's the Trump administration, whether whoever administration, the Edomite administration wants to ban free speech, and they're always going to set up controlled oppositions to make it look like. They for the people, they for the rights, they for the patriots. But it's all going down, you know, one direction, one road, which is going to be the road to the NWO and trying to ban that free speech. So let me um, let me just do this real quick. Like I said, I ain't going to make this long. Probably be like 10 minutes of that. So let me go back. Tucker Carlson, free speech. I'm going to just type in Tucker Carlson. And Fox it says, uh, why was Tucker Carlson let go of Fox? There was another one I've seen, not this one. It said it was unclear as to why. You know, the details, man, don't even, don't even matter. But, you know, to hell with the details, you know. But nonetheless, that famine of the word is upon us. All right, all upon these people because we got the word. All right, we got the word. You know, we ate the roll, eating the roll continuously and teaching the house of Israel. You see, but all of this is going to, you know, somehow they probably going to try to use this to say we got to ban free uh, free speech because Tucker Carlson was too radical, blah, 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 whatever, whatever. And like you heard this dude said, you know. Those of you outside the United States about the things that are going on around the world. Well, he was deeply troubled by the fact that this... Um, there's this group of, of um, African Israelites, I think they are. It, it's this crazy ass group of guys who are African American who believe all kinds of nonsense. I mean, they're just like really out to lunch. And a lot of the things that they believe in are kind of outrageous and or despicable, you know. But the Biden administration is persecuting them because of free speech, because of shit that they have said. Mm -hmm. And, and like little posters that they put up here and there that mean nothing. He's talking about he's talking about the Hebrew Israelites, obviously. You know, and we're not African Israelites, we're not black Israelites, we're just Hebrew Israelites, all right? We're Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. So obviously he's talking about us on the street corners, that's where Tucker Carlson encountered us. You know, on the street corners, teaching with the signs in the clearly in the video. Go back to it, clearly in the video, brothers got the signs up. You see? Others got the signs up. You know, reading the scriptures. Apostle breaking it down. 
You see? But ultimately, this devil wants to ban free speech. All right, which is the famine of hearing the word. And it is going to happen. It is going to happen. No such thing as coincidences. You know, whether whether he's just strolling down or they sent him down here, who knows? And the whole point is he popped up. So anyway, let me finish this off. These people because of their speech. They haven't done anything. They haven't like burned down a building like Black Lives Matter did back in 2020. Oh, no. These guys, they just uh, give their little speeches and their little bullshit and their little pamphlets, and that's it. And the Biden is... Exactly. You know, exactly. Because even he's saying, you know, we ain't out there doing nothing but preaching the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh That's why we don't incriminate ourselves. You know, we don't we don't go to gun ranges and record it and put Edomite faces on, on, on the target and talk about, you know, being ra ex super duper extreme and shit. Like, we don't do that. We just simply go out there in the highways and byways and teach the word. We do our lessons during the week. You know, that's it. We teach Israel. You know, we ain't out there doing nothing but doing the work of the Lord. ...is persecuting them, using the federal government to shut them down. Now, all the laws, legislations, and things that they're passing is really targeted to us. All right, they ain't going to come out outright and say it, but it's targeted to us. Carlson has been talking about this quite a bit. And, and with good reason, because this is the epitome of freedom of speech. To say something stupid and outrageous that most everybody disagrees with, but okay, fine. You do you, kind of thing, right? Exactly. So, it is what it is. Whether it's control ops, or whether you legit step down, who knows. But just be on the, you know, keep your eyes peeled. You know, the famine of hearing the word is definitely about to go down. So, I'm going to read this and then I'll be that. Straight to the point. This is Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, save the Lord. Power, Yahweh, Shah, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord or the words of the Lord. So that's going to happen. All right. People are going to be starving, hungry, and thirsting for the words of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. And how is the words of Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah being taught? By the prophets Alright Amos the 5th chapter says um, 5 and three, uh, 13 it says The prudent Therefore the prudent shall keep silence In that time For it is an evil time So the, the prudent is not going to be speaking The, the wise are not going to be speaking Because the times are evil Alright The times are going to be that evil And also too Like it says in Luke 1 and 70 It says it says, as he spake, who's the he? Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So the prophets was always there since the very beginning. Since Genesis, the prophets was there. All right? And that's how the Lord spoke, by the mouth by the mouth of his prophets. So when the people start seeking and looking for the word of the Lord and they can't find it, it's because the Lord is closing his mouth. All right? He's shutting the mouth of, of the prophets. So... These videos, these lessons, these epistles, these highway speakings and byway speaking is going to come to an end soon. So again, I'll read it again one more time. Behold, the days come, save the Lord, power, Yahweh, 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 Shai, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, which there is going to be a famine of bread and a famine of water. But most importantly, the famine of hearing the word, this truth, and they shall wander from sea to sea. And from the north even to the east And they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord And they shall not find it Alright, they're not going to find it They want to ban free speech And we are the epitome of free speech Like he said We are the epitome of free speech If what we're saying is retarded If it's lies, if it's bullshit, if it's this, if it's that Then how, how are we able to cause such a, a verbal ruckus? Huh? How are we able to cause such a verbal ruckus? And that's why the scripture say Great fear fell upon them that seen them all right, great fear fell upon them that seen him when we stood upon our feet, like I say that in um, Ezekiel 38 and Revelation of the 11th chapter. You know, they have seen us. So they scared and they got to come with all these different tactics and theatrics to ban free speech. You know, so, you know, hey, we just got to see what, you know, what, what's, what makes it this, you know, what makes it this whole situation. You know, so, hey, like the brother did, 
Yeshaya. We go back to the thing. And this is Paige right here. Yeshaya, LA2. Here comes the famine of the word. You know, you brothers that aren't subscribed, go, go on ahead and subscribe to the brother's page. You know, but he went into pretty much the same thing in a way, you know what I'm saying? But he was kind of talking about, you know, this character in the beginning, you know, so edifying video. But um, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it. You know, get this truth while you still can, while it's still here, ready, available, and accessible. So with that, I'm going to end it. Till next time, I say shalom to the elect. Shalom.